Hi, I'm Jim Bickle, Chairman and CEO of Redwood Group International. Several years ago, while working in our Redwood Medical Division, we had the opportunity to visit a hospital in downtown Beijing, China. Actually, we were there to talk to them about some medical equipment that we wanted their opinion of. And while we were at the hospital, I had a chance to witness something very interesting. It took us around the hospital to show us some unique things they were doing, and one of them was uh, an operation or a treatment they were performing on people who had an eye problem called retinitis pigmentosa. I had no idea what it was. Actually, only, only kind of ever heard about it before. Uh, but later I had a chance to check into it and learn a lot more about it. And, I, and one of the other people in our company had heard about it, knew a little bit about it. They also did some checking on it and we found out that the retinitis pigmentosa was a serious problem for a lot of people. And generally there was no cure for it any place in the world. And so we got a little more, became a little more interested in this whole thing and we actually got to know these hospital people quite well for other reasons. And every time we go back to the hospital, we kind of just check with them, said, how's that, how's that department going that's uh, doing the eye treatments? And they said, oh, it's doing quite well. Well, the long and short of the story is that over a period of five or six years, we found out they had done thousands of operations on mostly Chinese people, uh, and they were quite happy with the operation. So we continued to be more interested in it. Later we found out that quite a number of people had come to the hospital from Southeast Asia, from Singapore, uh, Japan, and Hong Kong, and so forth, and actually some Americans had come over from Hawaii because they had heard about it through their friends in Japan. And actually last fall I was there and uh, happened, to, happened to talk to the hospital owner and he said, hey, why don't you come on over? We got some people that are coming over from Japan to have an operation or have a treatment. So I went over and met these people. They were at various levels of, of the problem. Uh, some, the youngest one was 10 years old, the oldest one was 62 years old. Some could see a little bit, some could see quite well, but they were worried about the progression of the, of the problem. Uh, anyway, they went through the treatment and I went back 15 days later when it was over and I interviewed them and I was very pleased with the results. Everybody was happy. Now I'm not a doctor. I really don't know anything about what causes it, how to treat it, except that I did witness a lot of people that were very pleased with the operation. So I went back again and I met with the surgeons that uh, performed the treatment and I looked through their files and with the help of uh, one of our other staff people who speaks English and Chinese, we reviewed a lot of the cases. And then we decided that uh, this, was, this would be a real opportunity to bring this possible treatment uh, cure to people in the United States that, that have the problem and don't really have a solution. So we put together a plan to develop a, a, what we call medical tourism in the U.S. where we can take patients to China and introduce them to this treatment. So our company, Redwood Medical, Division of Redwood Group International, now offers this program. Uh, and our staff people would, would meet anybody interested at the Beijing airport, transport them to a five-star hotel, Shangri-La. They'd have an opportunity to go across the street to the hotel, meet the surgeons, have an eye exam, and discuss the whole procedure. We also put together uh, the opportunity for patients in the U.S. if they are interested to talk to a woman by the name of Li Ning. Li Ning is on the staff at the hospital. She's witnessed many many operations. She's talked to various people around the world in advance of their treatment because she's bilingual, she studied in Europe, and she understands how to communicate in several languages. She's available to talk to, to people that are interested. Just call, them on, call her on Skype at any time, she'd be happy to tell you the uh, what the or the, the treatment consists of, how long it takes, what to expect, what the hospital looks like, and so forth. She also knows the complete background of the surgeons, and she can explain their uh, their uh, the history of the surgeons and the work they've done. Also on our staff, and I'm going to introduce you to him now, is uh, Wu Xiaoxin, better known as Charlie Wu. 
Charlie Wu is the Chief Operating Officer for Redwood Group International and manages the operations for our several divisions. He will be directly overseeing the treatment when it takes place. He'll, he and his staff will meet patients and transport them to the hospital and his staff would stay with the patients every day during their whole treatment. I know this is something new. Most people in the U.S. don't understand it. But we thought it would be interesting to tell you a little bit about it.